Welcome back to Peak Flicks. This is Math Grade 5 with Mrs. Rossi. Today's learning goals are, today we were going to learn how to divide with powers of 10. But before we get started, let's get working on some fluency. As you learned before, we do fluency so we can be automatic, accurate, efficient, and flexible. Today we're going to be dividing by powers of 10, so let's begin by starting with counting by tens. Let's start at zero and get up to two hundreds. And today I'm going to ask you to do a little dancing, a little clapping or a little punching, just to make it a little fun. So here we go, let's get started. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. We've done it. How fast can you be? 20 divided by 10, that's two. 60 divided by 10 is six. 10 divided by 10, one. 30 divided by 10 is equal to three. 50 divided by 10 is equal to five. 70 divided by 10 is seven. 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10. 40 divided by 10 is four. 110 divided by 10 is equal to 11. 90 divided by 10 is nine. Zero divided by 10 is zero. 80 divided by 10 is eight. 120 divided by 10 is equal to 12. How fast are you? You're pretty fast. Do you want to improve? I'm sure you do. You can practice on your own using reflex math or using flashcards. Hi, and welcome back to Pig Flicks. This is Math with Mrs. Rossi, grade five. And today we're gonna to learn how to use the place value chart to divide by tens, one hundreds, and one thousands. So let's get started. Here you can find a place value chart where you can see we have the millions, the hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, and then to those decimal numbers, the tenths, the hundreds, and one thousands. And although they do not have any numbers up here, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. So this is the one one thousandths position. We also have the one hundredths position, which is here, and the one tenths position, which is here. And as we talked uh, in our previous lesson, that as we increase to the left, we increase by 10 times greater. And when we decrease or divide um, to a next place value, we get 10 times smaller or one tenth the size. So this time we're moving our decimal points to the right. We're shifting, our, excuse me, we're shifting our numbers to the right, making our numbers smaller. So let's start out with these first few examples. So we have 745. There's seven in the hundreds. We've got four in the tens and five in the ones. And in this time, we're going to divide by 10. So we're gonna make our number 10 times smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift it into the place value chart. So we're moving over, to, uh, dividing by 10. So we'll shift over one place value. So the 700, it will become seven tens. The four tens will become four ones. And the five ones will become five tenths, okay? Again, if this helps us out, we can have the zero in there as a placeholder so that we don't get confused. Um, you can leave it just how it is, okay? So the answer for this first one, 745 divided by 10 would be 74 and five tenths, okay? So that would be the answer. I'm gonna drag it right up here to the top, 74 and five tenths. And I'm actually just going to put a little edit on here and I'm going to put a period so that we know that it's five tenths. Okay, right now we're keeping the same number, 745, and this time we're dividing it by 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to divide it by 100, therefore making the 700s actually just seven. We're going to start out in that hundreds column. We're going to divide it by 10. We're going to divide it by 100, putting it in the ones position. And we're going to do the same thing with the four. So it was four tens. We're moving it to four ones and then to four tenths. 
And finally, that five, it started out at five ones, it went to tenths, and then to hundredths, since we're dividing by 100. So in this case, our answer becomes seven and 45 hundredths for the answer to the second question. So let me drag those up here, seven. And again, I'm gonna just edit this so that I can have my decimal point in there. The decimal point is very important. If we don't have the decimal point in the right spot, then we won't have the correct number. So seven and 45 hundredths. And then for our last question, we're taking that same number again, 745, and we're dividing it by 1,000. We're making it 1,000 times smaller, okay? So we're, again, we're gonna start out in the hundreds, and we're gonna divide it by 10, 100, 1,000. So my seven is going to be in the tenths position. My four, I'm also gonna divide, moving it over three place values, 10, 100, 1,000. And again, my five, I have 10, 100, 1,000. So my final answer here, I'm gonna drag the zero down so that I have a place value in one spot. 745 divided by 1,000 will actually be 745 thousandths. And I know this because the last digit falls in the thousands position. So that was a little bit to get warmed up. Now we're going to get onto the actual work for today. So let's move forward. Okay, so here's our problem for today. Hakeskill Middle School has around 750 students. One tenth of the students take dance class. How many students take dance class? Explain your thinking and include a statement of the solution. Okay, so this isn't as hard as it looks. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of understand the question. So 750 students, that's what I'm starting out with. And I'm looking at a portion of the students, one tenth of them. Now, when we see one tenth, that's really just dividing by 10. So if I take 750 and I'm gonna divide it by um, 10 or making it 10 times smaller. So let me go ahead and write that in my, write that in my place value chart. So I'm starting out with 750 students and only a tenth of them or one tenth of them and remember yesterday, or earlier today, I said that, you know, when we get, go to the next place value to the right, we get 10 times smaller, to, or one tenth as much. Um, so I'm gonna take this seven, and I'm gonna shift it in my place value chart. I'm just gonna choose another color here. One position, because I'm getting a tenth smaller. And I'm gonna take that five that's in the tens and put that in the ones. And I'm gonna take that zero in the ones and put it in the tens. And that's really interesting that it works out like that because if I have 750 students and one tenth of them take dance class, that leaves me with 75 to take dance class. And that makes sense because you can't have a fractional part of a student. Now it's your turn. The population of Peekskill in 2019 was 24,075 people. One one hundredth of the population vote at Hillcrest School. How many people vote at Hillcrest? Explain your thinking and include a statement of the solution. Now is the time where you're going to pause your video. And when you're done, you can restart the video to see how this is solved. So on this place value chart, I've put 24,075 to represent the number of people that is the population at peak scale. And the problem asks us or tells us that one one hundredth of them vote at Hillcrest. So if I'm going to be dividing by 100, okay, I'm going to move my place values or shift them in the place value charts. 10. 100. So whatever number I have in the ones is going to one hundredths, which is the five. The seven will shift to the tenths. My zero will shift to the ones. My four will shift to the tens. And my two will shift to the hundreds. Making approximately, because this we have 240 and because we have the decimal here, 75 hundredths. So the answer here would be an approximation. And so I would say for my answer, 
about 241 people vote at Hillcrest School. I can go back and check my work. I started out with 24,075 and one one hundredth of the people voted, so I'm dividing by 100. After going back and checking my work, I wanted to make sure that I wrote out the number sentence. So I have 24,075 divided by 100 is equal to 240 and 75 hundredths. And since I'm talking about people, I'm going to round up my 7 tenths to uh, one whole number. So it will be approximately 241 people who are voting at Hillcrest School. So let's have a little recap on today's work. Today we learned that numbers can easily be divided by 10, 100, and 1,000 by using the place values chart. You did a great job. Kiss your brain. And please join us again real soon. Hello, Peak Flicks Math Scholars. For today's exit plan, I'm gonna ask you to try three things. One of them is going on Zern, one of them is trying out some more reflex math, and the last to really flex those peak flex math scholars muscles is to complete the exit ticket to share what you know. I hope you'll join us tomorrow. Have a great day.